Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Diverge. Now, last episode, we mined down to the bottom of the world, and we've made it to a new dimension called the Umbralands. And if you're like, what the heck is the Umbralands? Well, to be honest, I really don't know. It's just home to uh, a lot of tough-to-fight mobs, and, uh, well, I got a staff, you know, I can... Oh, I, I didn't even hit a single one, but uh, anyways, yeah. I want to mine some of that stuff right there. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like some kind of gem. So we're going to want to carefully kind of maneuver, go down into the Umberlands without disturbing any mobs. I don't know how we're going to do that. I mean, we're right above a whole ton of lava. Okay, maybe I could bridge? Yeah, I could use my cobblestone and bridge. Might be risky, though, because of those skeletons, you know what I mean? All right, let's try it. Okay, this is intense. There's skeletons everywhere. There's skeletons over there, skeletons over there. There's some diamond as well. Oh, hey, look at that. There's some rubies. Wait. Oh, crap. I still have my rubies and sapphires on me. Hang on. I gotta put away all my stuff in my chest real quick. Oh, wait. What the? Oh! Yo, give me that. What the heck? There's so many. I guess the uh, chances of seeing them are heavily increased when you actually head to the Umberlands. No way. Oh, no way there's sapphires right by the waterfall that I came down here in. No way I missed that. I really did miss that. Wow. Just as I'm about to leave again. Hey, hey, hey. And I got a comment uh, actually saying that now that I've been to the Umberlands, all of the mobs are going to be that hard to fight, like on the overworld, which is very worrying, you know? All right, but don't worry. It's worth it for all the lapis and rubies we get. Oh, man, so rewarding. Alright, I don't know how many times at this point I've called Sapphire's Lapis. I am so sorry. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I didn't know there were foxes. What? Wait, can I feed you? How do I feed you? Oh, does he run away when I don't crouch? Look at how fast he is at swimming. I wish I could swim that fast. Now, there are actually uh, furry items in this game. I know that's like the weirdest thing I've ever said, but uh, there's an achievement called Fursuiter. Uh... Equip all the fluffy vanity items crafted from fox fur. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that gave me fox fur. Um, whoa, that fox ran away. Wow, I wanted to be his friend, but oh well. Oh yeah, look at that. Now there's orange skeletons out here. Hello. Oh, my sword. Uh-oh. Yeah, look at that. He's orange. Uh-oh. What the heck? What the heck? Okay. Wow. Wow. That iron armor did me no good, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the warding ring heals half a heart every minute. It completely busted. I'm pretty sure the recipe for it is this. Yeah. Check it out. So I got that in a dungeon. What's the reverse of that? Nothing? No? Can I make a block of ruby? Yeah, most pointless block ever. You know what? I'm going to go check in the Discord and see what the recipes are for all the stuff. I'll be right back. Wow, turns out all I needed to do was just press R on one of them, and look at that, they've got a recipe thing! Wow, alright. Ruby staff, right click to shoot a flaming ruby crystal, hey! What else can we make? What the heck, trinket of fury increases sword damage by 50%! Umbra shard crystal? What the heck is a void essence, huh? Wait, how do you make it though, is what I'm wondering. A ruby shield. Sneak to block damage. Block 75% damage. What about a ruby shield? Blocks 100% of damage. Oh my gosh, why is that sapphire one even better? Oh, wings! Wait a second! I have a single feather. Okay. And there's a spider right here for some string. Hello, buddies. Gonna have to kill you guys for your resources, thank you very much. Look at that, we can make ourselves some wings now that we've got pretty much all that. Wait. Wings need what? Six feathers, okay. Nimble boots, kinda cool. But wings allows jumping in midair, which is really cool. I do know for a fact that it doesn't stop uh, fall damage, so we're gonna have to be careful about that. Is there another zombie around? That guy dropped four whole feathers. Hey buddies, you're my feather farms now! Okay, no feathers, that's fine. Okay, six feathers, perfect. Alright, let's get back in the house. We gotta get in the house, alright. 
And we can make ourselves a pair of wings. And that is going to be super dang awesome. Alright, what's the recipe again? Oh, I see. So we put a sapphire there. A string there. And two sets of feathers. And boom, we got ourselves some wings, baby. Do they appear on me? Oh, they do. Yeah, they're on my back. That's awesome. Oh, wait, what the heck? Wait. Oh, look at that. It comes with a little blue circle thing. Hey, that looks kind of awesome. I got like a lapis on my chest now. All right. Uh, let's see. So it seems like the bulk of all the stuff we can make is from lapis and... Uh, oh. Oh, that's just a uh, furnace recipe. But anyways, yeah, all the bulk of this stuff comes from lapis and not ruby. I mean, the sapphire shield blocks 100% of damage while the ruby shield only blocks 75%. I find that really weird, but... I don't really mind, you know? Let's make ourselves a sapphire shield. Boom! We can block 100% of damage now. So how do I do that? Every three seconds, I'm guessing... Oh, sneak to block damage. Okay. So long as we sneak, that's going to block damage. That's awesome! Look at that! We are geared up with three different sapphire things and a little ruby on our warding ring. But that is so dang cool. We are fully geared up and ready to head into the Umbra Lands. Let's do this! Okay, some of that crystal's got to be around here somewhere, right? Watch this. Let me use my wings. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Uh, okay. Uh, this is looking pretty bad. Do I have anything in my inventory? No. Uh, oh, jeez. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? There's stuff right there. There's ground. Let me eat that chicken. I'm alive! Let me mine. Okay. So if I die in here, you know, it's fine. All my stuff was hidden. Oh, that's right. I, I, I gotta locate my house now because there's no respawn points. My house is over there. Okay, it's all the way over there if you can see that. Yeah, that's where my house is. Alright, I can just grab a pickaxe out of my chest and really quickly drop back down into the Umberlands where I lost my stuff and hopefully my items will still be there by the time that I get back. Oh, okay. Yes, I made it. Alright. Okay, that's a lot of my stuff. Good, good, good. Is that all of it? Oh, yeah, it actually is all of it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's just barricade ourselves in here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, all right, I can put everything back where it was. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's what I get for trying to show off with the wings, man. I was about to, like, light it up with the single torch I had, but oh, well. <laughs> Look at how many there are. So many purple zombies. Get lost, all of you. Hey, hey. Whoa, what is that? What's that? Let me kill all these guys and find out. Yeah, get lost. What is that? Void essence. Oh. Uh, okay. Nice! Umber shard! Yes! Got an achievement! Ooh, too shiny! Mine umber shard crystals found in the Umberlands. Wow! This is awesome! Oh, so the chances of actually having them drop seem to be very slim. Look at how many I'm mining right now. And look at how many have fallen. Only five. Wow, I wonder what I can do with Umbra Shards, actually. Let's press R. And they are completely useless. Okay, but hey, they are the most valuable uh, resource in Diverge, it seems like. Watch this, watch this. Hoot. Yeah! Using my wings, that was just so awesome. Hoot. Yeah! Watch this. I'm gonna use my wings. Hoot. Whoa! Uh oh, I did it again. Uh oh! Except this time I'm in the middle of the. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not looking good for me. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Hmm.